couple good chances, including one spectacular save by Dan Ellis. Then tonight, Charlotte puts one in for you. Yeah, I'll take it. I, I don't really want to think about last night's yeah. chance again. That's that's usually only happens to you once a year where you have a complete empty net and goalie finds a way to make an unbelievable save. But yeah, tonight I just tried to get it to the net. I knew I had guys going to the net and their guy ended up tipping it in, so I'll take those. Kind of an odd uh, back to back where last night you guys probably played the better game and, and lost, and then tonight, not that you didn't play worse than Charlotte, but you didn't play as well as you did last night. No, for sure. And that's that's just kind of how a season goes sometimes. And last night we, we thought we deserved a better fate, and just kind of the way the puck luck kind of happened last night, their, their shots seemed to be going in and, and ours weren't. And, that's going to happen throughout the season. And then tonight, I think we did a really good job in, in times where we needed to hunker down defensively and, and not give up that tying goal. So you get six goals, I think, in your last eight games, so you're really coming on. What's changed for you in those last eight games that you found the, the scoring max? Just getting healthy again. Started the year a little banged up and just getting back to my old old ways, trying to, trying to find my game again. Uh, like I, I've talked about it before. I, Kind of lost it a little bit last season. Kind of got down a little bit, but that's that kind of going to happen in your career, I think. And for me, it was just coming in, having a strong start this year, and then being back here, getting the opportunity to play on the power play and playing key roles is obviously a, a big thing for me. And trying to, you know, when you get in those roles, you have to you have to score goals and you have to do the things to stay there. So that's kind of where I'm trying to be. Having a chance to play for a guy like Laxo again, who you had in Idaho, you know, be able to kind of spark you back to those scoring ways that got you to the HL and to the NHL? Yeah, it's, I think there's a certain, you don't want to say comfort level between the two of us, but I think he knows what he has in me, and I know what I need to do to, to earn those things, to get in those situations. And just, you know, it, it's a privilege to play in those situations, and, and I take them, I don't take them for granted, and, and I want to be out there in those key moments and then hopefully score some big goals down the road. So it seems like uh, you played in the AT&T Center and Cedar Park Center a lot before back-to-back -back nights. Does it kind of give you an appreciation of how well, how nice of a job they do with the ice here? Yeah. <laughs> That's a loaded question for <laughs> sure. Uh, there's there's no secret that it, it's a little rough down yeah. in San Antonio, and, and but our ice here, it, we love to play a fast game, and I think our ice here allows us to do that. So we really appreciate the work that they do here and giving us a fast, smooth surface. For sure, that's something that as a team you need to learn how to not give up that tying goal in the dying minutes. And I think tonight we did a really good job of blocking shots and, and making the right plays and not giving them a, a big opportunity in the end. Chemistry overall, uh, what's it like seeing what you've done? Good, I think it's a great group of guys. Uh, it's me stepping into this team this year new. It, it's, it was an easy team to come into right away. Guys get along, there's a lot of laughs in our locker room and we don't seem to get too down. And, and, and that's a key throughout the year because you're going to have your ups and downs. and pretty even keel room and, and it's a lot of fun to be around and come to the rink every day. If you're one of the new guys, is it easier to come in when you have a new coach also? Uh, as a player, you kind of walk into a locker room and you there's always the new faces and guys, uh, for me, it's been guys I've been playing against for the last couple of years, but it, it's a uh, welcome, they were very welcoming and, it, and it's just a fun group, like I said, to be a part of and the coaches helped that too, kind of. You know, they kind of set the mood for the room and they've done a really good job coming in here and kind of getting control of this team.